Today, we're going to be showing you how you can create a viral video. But before we do that, please make sure to subscribe and please make sure to ring that notification bell so that you will know exactly when we are putting some of these amazing videos. Dave, you created a fantastic viral video. How did you do it? Well, first of all, I created something I knew would have a real big effect on people. So when I explain exactly what I put into it, it will make more sense if you actually see the video first. So watch this and I'll tell you how I put it together and why it was so significant. Question, should we say Black Lives Matter or should we say All Lives Matter? All Lives Matter, right? Wrong. Why? Let me explain. If your house is on fire and the authorities arrived, I may explain to you all houses matter and did nothing and your house burnt to the ground, how would you feel? That's what's happening right now. Get it? Of course, every life is precious. Black lives plus white lives plus LGBTQ lives plus me too plus special needs plus immigrants plus animals plus Bigfoot. Well, not so much Bigfoot. Instead, champion diversity. Really, diversity matters with those happy people. Why? Well, you get a better society, greater immunity, better food, cool music, and gorgeous babies. Look at those babies. In the workplace too, Diversity means working together, global reach, stronger beliefs, diverse opinions, smarter ideas, faster solutions, incredible insights, more staff loyalty, better decisions, job security, industry respect, greater attention, increased sales, more revenue, more profit, happy staff. Look at those happy staff. Diversity pays. Being a non-racist isn't enough. When you say all lives matter, it's a smokescreen. It means that people can hide from the real problem and it ensures that nothing happens. Want to really make a difference? Take a stand. Stand up for what's right. Be the Avengers. Go up against a big baddie and make a difference. Become an anti-racism superhero. Use your privilege. Become a wrecking ball. Knock down a corrupt system. Let's rebuild it together. Brick by brick, color by color. Everyone's included. Blacks can't do this alone. We've tried. 50 years ago, Martin Luther King was killed. What's changed since then? So little. So for all our lives, we need you. Speak up and help us. We just want equality for everybody around the world. Black lives matter because diversity matters, because all life matters. That's why to get this, you have to start with this. And that leads to this, which leads to this. Black lives matter, which means that all lives matter. Thank you. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed it. Now you've seen that, let's have a look at how I put it all together. I wanted to do a video about diversity because I realized that Black Lives Matters is a huge thing happening around the world of thousands, maybe millions of people protesting, walking around peacefully and demanding that there's better equality. But I also wanted to counter the fact that when you've got a project like Black Lives Matter, and it offends a lot of people because they say all lives matter, white people matter, yellow people, green, blue, whatever it is, they're absolutely right. But the thing is, when you say Black Lives Matter, you're not actually excluding white people. You're trying to say that it's for everybody. We all agree that, but can you just sort out this problem first? So let's put it in perspective. So for instance, if you had, because um, we're talking about all lives matter, which is a neutral to everything. So if you had COVID, which you've got right now, pandemic across the world. So if you say, let's, uh, pan uh, COVID matters. So let's stop COVID. And somebody says, yeah, but all diseases matter. I've got friends who've got other diseases. Fix the other diseases too. And we go, oh, okay. Well, that means that like, COVID doesn't get sorted out and everyone dies of coronavirus, not everybody. But you know what I'm talking about. So that's why this is important. But it has to be done a certain way because I don't want to offend people. I don't mind annoying people, but I don't really want to offend people, the good people. So 
I don't want them to, to switch off. I want them to get it. So it plants a little worm in their head that stays. So to do that, I had to create something that was going to be very easy to digest with a very simple message with good, clear and obvious pictures. Um, and then I wanted to put my stamp on it. And it was very important that my stamp was put on it so people knew it was me because at the end of the day, um, I want people to know that I'd created a video. But at the same time, I didn't want my face to be all over it because then people who need to know might be a little bit averse to seeing black faces, at least initially. And so it might not get the traction of the visitors that it needs to. So first of all, what I did, I'll just share my screen now so you can see properly, is um, I opened it up and created this on PowerPoint. So if you can see this, the entire script was created here on PowerPoint. So if I was to go right to the very beginning, I'm left here and I put it in the way that I normally do my presentations on stage so people can be familiar with it. Question, should we say Black Lives Matter or All Lives Matter? And each piece here was carefully put together over a period of about a day, written and scripted. I went through every single part of it and changed it and added it. And I lost some pictures because I wanted to talk about lots of different areas. Like, for instance, here, when I say, um, you know, Black Lives Matter plus, oh, sorry, every life is precious, Black Lives plus, White Lives plus. And I actually put the um, KKK in there as well and to say even them as well. But then I realized that by saying it, you'll end up with loads of comments about the KKK. I don't want that to be what this is about. I want this to be about the good people that need to actually just get involved. And this is driven and created deliberately not to annoy people, not to wind people up. It's not to change the, the all lives matters people's opinion too much because they're right. I mean, 50 years ago, this would have been a conversation about, you know, black people aren't equal to white people. Now everyone agrees that there's equality, but what we are is kind of color blindness to what prejudice looks like. Little 5% things here and there that when you add them together, is 50% of prejudice. I hope you understand that. So the joke in, in the end was about Bigfoot instead of looking at the KKK because that way everyone laughs at it and they take it. I also wanted to make sure it was as inclusive to the different things as I could put in with immigrants and uh, physically challenged and the Me Too movement and the LGBTQ. I didn't want to find things that weren't on people's radar, even though there was a lot more I could have talked about as well. You know, there's no way you should talk about anything um, to throw it away. It had to be important and it had to be used ex effectively. So then the whole presentation went through, as you can see here, until the bit about the babies and so on. Now the challenge with this is when do you go on too long? I wanted it to be about one minute. And I realized that one minute was gonna be impossible if I was gonna address so much stuff. So when I put the presentation together, it could have been three different pieces. But then I realized that some people would see the first slide and go, I've already seen that. So they might not get through all, the, all three of them. So I wanted to make it super tight and make it super effective and have it all done in one go. So maybe it's gonna be a minute and a half, two minutes, maximum three minutes. So that's what I had. So I created all this, I recorded it on Zoom, just like I'm recording this now, and I put it all together like this. Then, once I'd recorded it as a Zoom, I went, because I'm working on a Mac, to um, this, which you should be able to see as well. Let me just change it so you can see that I'm going to um, Movie Maker, which is here, iMovie. And so on here, I've got the full recording. So if I start it playing there, Yeah, so the whole thing's there, all recorded. I chopped out all the gaps so it doesn't just plod. It goes bang, 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 because that means that people don't have time to switch off because there's no natural gap. It just takes them all the way to the end of a journey. And I added some music that was quite effective and made sure that all the pictures were relevant. Anything, even at this stage, I didn't feel was right, I got rid of. And at the very end of it, I recorded a Zoom of me just connecting and saying, uh, I'm Dave Crane. Well, not even that, it's just this bit here. Black lives matter, which means that all lives matter. Thank you. Good looking fella. So then the whole thing goes together. Now I had to be very careful about how I positioned it. I wanted it to be standalone. I wanted it to be viral without me being anywhere near it. So what that means is you send it out there and people can share it, talk about it, do their own thing, and it doesn't need to have some, some introduction from anywhere. And so this is a very strong, in my opinion, it's a very strong standalone piece. Now, I wanted to also put a spin on it. 
I didn't want it to be a, a pure Black Lives Matter piece because then people who are against it and are scared by Black Lives Matter would not do anything about it. By putting diversity matters, it's enough for somebody to champion who still believes in all lives matter, but because of the way the video's put together, it's quite subtle. So if you watch it and you get it and you understand what I'm saying, then the idea is for the 15 or 20% of people who are white, predominantly, because blacks can talk forever and they won't make any difference to the system, but the 15 to 20% of, of, of white people who would support all lives matter, but also actually think more needs to be done but hadn't done anything about it this is inspired to make them go you know what maybe we should say more now it's interesting how this got put out because i a couple of people said to me i'd like to share this and i said go ahead and so it went out onto linkedin from a couple of different people um one dear friend of mine uh titsia nee huster who's on this show uh, last week um and spoke all about uh, leadership and uh, working in the workplace and so on brilliant presentation she put it out and she actually got about three or four times the amount of views that I did on my own channel. Why? I'll give that for yourself. But she had a ton of interesting conversations that I followed. And when I looked at the, fact, uh, the conversations that we're having, um, it was predominantly people saying, yeah, all lives matter. Yeah, all lives matter. Yeah, all lives matter. Now, the video doesn't say that. The video says the opposite. And strangely enough, 15% of people said, you're right, we should do more. I'm going to share this. But you've still got a ton of people resisting, a ton of people coming out with conversations saying, this is going to do more damage than good. Why do you keep going on about it? You're talking about racism, so you make it a thing. Morgan Freeman said, when people stop talking about racism, that's when it disappears. Yeah, when people stop talking about it, because it's not a thing anymore. So I didn't create this video to tell you about racism. I'm sure you're very aware and you've already got your own spin and thoughts on it. I did it because I wanted to share with you my thought processes about putting together something that I think would be very effective, that would get the job done, that would still have it true to my brand, that it would stand alone, and also I didn't need to monitor where it went. I wanted it just to go and do good, like I would do if I was in a similar position talking to people. So I hope that all makes sense. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I look forward to bringing out some more in this series soon. That's really awesome, Dave. I really love it. And if you also thought it was great, please make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you, and Dave will see you also on the next video. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you really enjoyed it, then make sure you watch one of these two videos afterwards. And, and Esther, wh why are you staring up on top of my head? Dave, your hair is actually thinning out. Well, if it is, it's about the only thing getting thin on this show. Here on this side, we have some more amazing videos for you to watch. My name is Ernesto Verdugo. And my name is Dave Crane. No, sorry, it's the other way around, isn't it? Is it? Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm Dave Crane. And my name is Ernesto Verdugo. And keep on watching these shows over there. Take care, see you soon.